Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to this eclipse special video. We're going to take a look at the final eclipses of the year. I do believe we have three final eclipses to go. Well, there are two major eclipses coming. So that's the 18th of September, the 2nd of October and the 17th of October is listed in some places as an eclipse. Now, technically in the Vedic system, we might not count the 17th of October as being an eclipse because Rahu Ketu will be in Pisces and Virgo and we're going to have the sun and moon they've just stepped into the Aries Libra axis so they've just stepped in they're at 22 minutes 53 seconds of Aries and Libra so that's on the 17th of October but because on a few different websites definitely on I think it's called timeanddate.com and there will be other people I'm sure who will be covering the 17th of October as an eclipse. So I've just decided I'm going to cover it as an eclipse as well. I'll, I'll read it sort of in that sort of way. I like on um, time and date, what do they, they call it a lunar eclipse and then in brackets they say almost. So, you know, I'll, I'll just include it here and I'll talk about it for every single sign so that you get full coverage for eclipse season, the last eclipse season of the year. And I want to thank my viewers in my last September video who in the comments at the bottom you guys said, hang on a minute, isn't the 18th of September an eclipse? And you're absolutely right, it is an eclipse. It is something that I covered in uh, my 2024 Outlook video. I will put a link to that above and if you wanted to have a watch of that you can because I talked about that at the start of the year. I believe in that video I think I'm wearing a hat and uh, I'm in Sydney, Australia. So I did talk about that in that video. Uh, so if anyone wants to click on that there is a jump link you can just jump in there. But what I'll do is I'm going to cover what I talked about there and embellish a little bit more, add a little bit more detail to these eclipses, what I'm seeing based on what we know now. You know, we're a little bit further in the year, well, a lot further in the year. We're in August. Might as well just chat about these fresh. So I've got here that Mars is aspecting into all of the eclipses. Yes, and this is that frustrated Mars energy that I've been talking about. So the frustrated Mars energy, Mars being lauded by Venus, Mars isn't happy about this. So we have that energy of frustration, which is, as I say, aspecting into the eclipses. And I did actually rewatch my video uh, in preparation for this one, the 2024 Outlook video. And in there I explain that Mars is not part of the eclipse. So it won't be as bad as that big, now I believe it was the 14th of October last year. That was a big bad eclipse. Okay, and um, yeah, a lot of us remember that. So I'm not seeing anything that intense. But if we factor in this Mars energy that's aspecting into the eclipse, and if we also take a look in a little bit more detail, I am going to refer to the outer planets here because Uranus could be considered to be aspecting into this eclipse. So when we look at, say, for example, something like Rahu Ketu, they do say that you could, if you want to, read aspects from Rahu and Ketu and that would be, you know, the aspects would be at five and a nine sort of an aspect. So let's say with Uranus, you know, we can see that Uranus could be aspecting in. Uranus is five places away. Uh, Uranus could be aspecting in to these eclipses as well. Now Jupiter's energy is aspecting into these eclipses too. Okay, so Jupiter's aspect really could uh, expand 
expand or compound any issues. There's a lot of interesting energy at the moment. So, yeah, I do think that and now what's the symbolism of Uranus aspecting in? Well, that is sudden change. Sudden change could be there. So a way that I'm reading this is uh, I brought up the chart of the United States. I'll just bring it up again. United States of America. Let's bring up that chart. And we can definitely see. So if we're taking a look at the United States chart, we can definitely see that Mars is aspecting into say for example the eclipse on the 18th of September and then we've got Uranus and Jupiter seated in Taurus these are both five places away they could be aspecting their energy into this as well and that's on the Ketu side okay so this could be triggering or activating or bringing up some past issues uh, I've got some notes as to how I interpreted this earlier. I've got here with the U United States election, something could take a 180 degree turn. This will be something we can't foresee and it will be unpredictable. That's because it's Uranus. Uranus is unpredictable. It's sudden change. It's very difficult to predict what it might be. But because this energy is aspecting onto Ketu, transiting Ketu. What I'm seeing here is Ketu will be above, so United States natal Saturn, right, which is eighth from the moon. It's also 11th from the ascendant. So I've got here, it could be something to do with investments, could be something to do with money, stock market, could be sudden changes in the stock market at this time. I'm not a financial expert and I'm not telling anyone what to do but what I am seeing is that like where the energy is going in is yeah investments money stock market something around dependency issues or something to do with dependency uh, this could be to do with assets this could be to do with like a sudden career change or a sudden agenda change or a sudden it could be a sudden change of I mean, who knows, people being swapped in and out. We've, we're seeing a bit of that anyway. Um, even though people haven't been gone through the proper process or things like that. Um, the other thing is so 11th from Ascendant as well. I'm also just thinking now something in connection with freedom or uh, people's rights, uh, something along these lines as well. Freedom, people's rights people coming together but then they can't or something along these lines. I'm not 100% sure what the sudden changes are regarding but those are the areas where the activity is taking place. So do I have any eclipse tips for all of us? Well what my tips are, I've always got the same uh, tips, eclipse after eclipse, I always suggest the similar things. Um, I've got here with all eclipses it's advisable to build in buffer time if you have to travel. Okay and I know some of you are traveling at this time and you'll be fine, it's okay, it's okay to travel at this time. I remember at the last eclipse actually I myself traveled. I was supposed to, I thought you know I booked my flight well in advance of the eclipse but then I ended up changing my flight, I think I was too sick to fly at that time and I changed it and it was very close to the eclipse. And I discovered it's perfectly all right to, um, to fly at that time. And it actually kind of matched the eclipse energy because I was flipping time zones and my day upside down and it was a real, that was a 180. That was like Sydney to London and bang, 24 hours and I just changed my whole world. So yeah, that happened around eclipse time last time. So even though you know I, I know this astrological information and I, I myself try to not fly around these times, sometimes we end up flying at those times and that's okay. But try and build in buffer time if you are traveling. Um, if you don't have to travel obviously it's a good good time to, a uh, good excuse to be a homebody, stay at home, all of that. Um, I've got here eclipse effects are normally seen two weeks either, either side of the date. So eclipse effects or eclipse events. 
Uh, you can tell when it's an eclipse event if it happens yeah within two weeks either side of the date I've got here but it could be even a month for something really major okay so if you are going through a time of major change I mean you could be going through a time of major change right now and uh, you know I, I guess one of the things to do there is is really to go with it you know we have to surrender we have to go with the flow of the universe if something has been made clear to you that you know a really big change is needed now and it's happening and you you've, you've kind of just got to go with that flow isn't it and I know um, a handful of people uh, you know both both friends and clients who are going through some big changes at the moment where they just have to go with it so yeah that that could be the case I've got here if you have natal planets in either Virgo or Pisces then this eclipse might be particularly uh, or this eclipse season rather might be particularly important for you so you might want to really take note of uh, what's going on at this time uh, the other thing I've got here in my notes yes so well back to the United States of America I mean the United States of America is in the eclipse path for both the 17th 18th September eclipse uh, and the 17th October which is you know people are saying it's an almost eclipse it's kind of as per our system it's technically not an eclipse but I'm just going to read it anyway so yeah the United States is in uh, a massive time of upheaval and change and you know we're all those of us watching from outside we're, we're all holding space and staying positive that everything goes well and I always think that when things are breaking down and changing it's always for a higher purpose for a higher reason you know it's so that new can come in okay so there is there is there are newer better energies wanting to come in and these times of eclipses they're, they're actually good because they they clear space for the new to come in so shall we go through every sign and take a look at what is happening I'm going to read for each sign all the three eclipses I'm going to do it very quickly guys and I don't know if uh, the person is watching who sent me thank you so much for sending me a little note about that I could get RAM, external RAM for my MacBook. Thank you so much for that. What I'm doing in this video is I'm actually shooting on a lower screen resolution and I'm gonna see if I can outsmart my MacBook by creating smaller files. Let's see what happens. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go through all the signs. Let's see what we have here. All right, Aries. Aries welcome let's take a look at the three eclipses what is going to happen for you so Aries we have got three eclipses on the 18th of September it's a lunar eclipse then we've got 2nd of October we have a solar eclipse and the 17th of October we've got a lunar eclipse so on the 18th of October the lunar eclipse I've got here something might be completing regarding your work or this could be to do with your spiritual growth as well and you are ready to graduate from some level in these areas it's like you know you've been maybe you've been circling on a particular plane it's like you're ready to get that notch up to to go up to experience something new so if something is leaving your life at this time and as I say that could be regarding work or spiritual growth let it go go with the new energy okay it's clearing space for something good to come in on the 2nd of October we've got a solar eclipse so there is a new beginning here and it could interestingly this new beginning is really going to take hold at this time 2nd of October it's like the new is ready to come through and this could actually be in relation to something you've mastered before so it could be something you've mastered in regards to your work in the world 
could be in regards to your confidence as well could be something to do with your mind as well i'm also looking sort of mercury is lording your third there so or something to do with self-effort but there's renewal in those areas okay it's a solar eclipse there is new energy but it could be in relation to something you've mastered in the past uh, and there could be new work coming in for you as well and then on the 17th of October we have got a lunar eclipse and in this instance something is being illuminated with your concept of self we have this beautiful full moon energy here in Aries and Libra uh, and I've got here it's now very much time to leave old versions of who you once were behind it's a time of renewal, Aries. I'm excited for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. We are now going to welcome Taurus. Taurus, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. Okay, so we're going to take a look at the 18th of September lunar eclipse. What do you have going on? Well, something might end regarding your friends, your older siblings, peers that you network with, could be in relation to soul tribe, something like that so there could be an ending there but it's clearing the way for fresh new energy to come in so go with the flow if anything is breaking down or changing just allow that allow that to 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 change and you've got fresh new energy coming in i've got here also in the area of investments your creativity or your children there could be some changes in any of these areas now on the 2nd of October we have got a solar eclipse so your new beginning could be regarding your children could be regarding your creativity or your romantic life it could be an area where you feel that you've already achieved a high level of mastery but even in that area you're ready for a new higher levels so that's that's pretty exciting and on the 17th of October we have got a lunar eclipse and if we have a look at where this is happening, I'm looking at that full moon energy there, that Aries, Libra, that beautiful full moon. I've got here, your spiritual side is being recalibrated at this time. Work colleagues might be seeing you in a new light after the changes of the first two eclipses. So that is what I have for you, Taurus. Thank you so much for tuning in. We are now gonna welcome Gemini. Gemini, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. So on the 18th of September, we have got a lunar eclipse happening for you. And how I'm reading this is that a challenging dynamic or pattern might come to a head or something might complete. And this is in the area of your home, home life, family life. So some, something is completing at home. Okay, and this could be you know, it could even be something emotional. It could be something along those lines. Um, and, and if that, let's say, comes to a close, there's something about you gaining more confidence. I've got here also at work, there could be the completion of a project. And that could sort of open up new finances or new energy. There's some new energy um, that wants to come in regarding work as well. So on the 2nd of October, we have a solar eclipse and there is definitely a new beginning at home. Okay, so I've got here, it could be that the dust is still settling from the last eclipse, but there's something at home that is really changing. Okay, and it could be in a big way. I've got here, go slowly. You are ready to start building the new now. Okay, so just take your time. Go slowly with it, but go with the energy. Go with the, the change, okay? Because when God or the universe or whatever is, is dismantling something, it's because there's some new, newer, better energy wants to come in, okay? Uh, so that's the 2nd of October there. And on the 17th of October, we have got a lunar eclipse. And I've got here, you are ready to be a new you now. Wow, that's pretty big, right? Uh, we've got, we're looking at that 5-11 axis there, yes, for you. So I've got here, it might be that family and friends are going to see you in a brand new light at this time. 
shine brightly dear Gemini because look at that we've got this full moon it's kind of like a miracle degree full moon and you are renewed in some way so it's really quite special Gemini I wish you well thank you so much for joining we are now going to welcome Cancer Cancer welcome thank you so much for joining so we're going to take a look at the 18th September lunar eclipse I've got here something might complete in the areas of your mind your courage your siblings or your friends a renewed confidence confidence and authority is lying just beneath the surface of any changes so there really is the new energy that that's pushing up let's say for example it's, it's pushing up something difficult or something challenging or something that needs to break away let it break away because what's underneath that is a new renewed confidence and authority it's really quite stunning we've got your three nine axis lit here so definitely um, allow these changes to take place then on the 2nd of October we have got a solar eclipse and the guidance I've got here is that there is a new beginning in something that you've mastered before and this could involve something hands-on could even involve a craft or a sport that you love or something to do with your self-effort something to do with your mind there's a renewal there's definitely a renewal happening here could also be to do with your courage as well your courage or your sense of confidence it's like there's new courage coming in for you um, and I've got here new contacts could be brought into your life as well so it could be that space is being cleared to bring more suitable people into your life at this time and then on the 17th of October we have got a lunar eclipse it's an almost eclipse and I've got here while the dust settles from the previous eclipses people at home or at work might be looking at you in a new light there is something renewed about your sense of self we've got this beautiful full moon on the Aries Libra axis and it's like you're shining like a new person so cancer thank you so much for joining we are now going to welcome Leo Leo welcome thank you so much for joining so we're going to take a look at the 18th September lunar eclipse there could be big changes happening for you and this could be in your family Leo could also be something to do with shared assets maybe something needs to change uh, to do with shared assets and I've got here this these changes could be your family of origin or it could be your in-laws and there could also be and or there could also be a change in relation to anything you are dependent on okay so you can think about where you have some dependency relationships uh, and there could be some change happening there now the 2nd of October we have a solar eclipse uh, and this is a new beginning in your finances okay so this could connect in with something that you started in the past could even be to do with um, something in the more recent past or maybe a business or a project or something like this but there's it's like space is being cleared so that wealth can come in which is very exciting Leo uh, and I'm sure that that could be you know long overdue type thing we have Ketu energy here so yeah have have a look at that uh, and then we've got 17th October there is a lunar eclipse and this is is basically it's it's an almost lunar eclipse so it's not really the full lunar eclipse but it's something and uh, what we have is we have a full moon on the Aries Libra axis so I've got here friends peers and people at work might start to look at you in a new light you are renewed and your confidence is renewed as well there could be something about your confidence has gone up a notch 17th of October um, your confidence has gone up you your authority has gone up as well there's something about possibly you know if you allow all these changes it could be a 17th of October that lunar eclipse that's that's where you're standing in a new in a new energy kind of thing Leo I'm wishing you well thank you so much for joining we are going to welcome Virgo Virgo welcome thank you so much for joining so on the 18th of September we have got a lunar eclipse there could be some big changes in your partnership okay so that's business partnership or with your committed romantic partner and on the 2nd of October we have got a solar eclipse 
So it's definitely time for a new beginning. And that could be something that you're already really excellent at or you've already you're it's like some area that you've mastered which you're brilliant at but you're going to take that to an even more superb level so i've got here yeah you're going to take mastery to a new level which is which is quite exciting so anything that let's say gets eclipsed out or cut out at this time it's clearing space and it's clearing space for a new more masterful you to emerge at this time on the 17th of october we have a lunar eclipse and i've got here now that the last two eclipses are done as the dust settles your partner and or family or in-laws are definitely going to see you in a new light okay so you're going to emerge from this time renewed and for you it's actually quite big virgo it's your whole sense of self you could reinvent yourself completely at this time if you wanted to all right well thank you so much for tuning in i'm just checking the time oh good it didn't cut out oh yeah it didn't cut out because i made the resolution a bit smaller anyway sorry uh there go thank you so much for tuning in i was expecting the, the thing to cut out but it didn't uh there go thank you so much for tuning in we are now going to welcome libra libra welcome thank you so much for joining so we have got an eclipse happening on the 18th of september lunar eclipse i've got here you might be completing something big at work uh, this could also be a court case might come to a resolution or finish up at this time uh, or some ongoing matter something to do with competition maybe you've been competing uh, i've got here at work or in life generally but uh, you are completing something big at work at this time. Now on the 2nd of October, we have got a solar eclipse. So what I see here is there is a beautiful new beginning in your spiritual development and in your spiritual side. Now I've got here, this could be something you've mastered in past lives, but room is being made for it to re-emerge. This could be occult gifts that you've honed in past lives um, that, you know, re-emerge or a sharpening of intuition or it and it could also be there's a refinement here that and anything that's being cut out at this time or that's leaving your life at this time or any big shift or change uh, go with it go with that flow and you've got some really beautiful new energies that are wanting to come in now Definitely keep your focus on the positive, on the new th good things that are coming in because there's a lot of fresh new energy that's coming in. Now, 17th October, we have a lunar eclipse. That is happening for you. Yeah, we've got this beautiful uh, full moon anyway that's happening on your Libra Aries axis. I've got here people at work or even your romantic partner will see you in a new light. Uh, you've integrated past lessons and it's time to move forward now okay so you can look at yourself and you can see okay what have I integrated you know what um, and another thing to look at is what am I using my free will to sustain unnecessarily you know sometimes we really do need to consciously move forward so have a look and see are you using your I made this discovery just um, yesterday or the day before I was listening to a tarot reader and I kind of realized I was like wow yeah I've sort of been using my free will to sustain you know an, an old ending that I should have really let it be in the past but I still reflect on it now and then you know so echoes of the past it's kind of like after this 17th October lunar eclipse it's like you are now ready to leave the past in the past and especially when it comes to now it could be to do with work but it could also be to do with romantic partner as well um apologies libra that that's the cutoff point for this new uh resolution uh, sorry i've changed my camera setup today i hope it still works i'm going to find out anyway thank you for tuning in libra i think i had finished with your segment it's it's all looking quite good fresh new energies are coming in so let's let's focus on the good new stuff that wants to grow all right thank you so much libra we are now going to welcome scorpio scorpio welcome thank you so much for joining so we've got an eclipse lunar eclipse on the 18th of september and for you it could be that you're 
investments are impacted at this time. Now, I'm not a financial advisor, guys. I don't know too much about these things. So um, please, you know, do your proper research and don't base things on a, an astrological thing. But this is just information, right? So investments could be impacted at this time. Um, I've got here also, there could be changes with your children or in your romantic life or to do with creative projects. Now, on the 2nd of October, we have a solar eclipse. And I've got here, room is being made so there can be new influxes of wealth and or opportunities that will come into your life in the future. And I've got here, room is also being cleared for new contacts or new people to come into your life. And maybe these are more suitable friends for you. Perhaps you look around at your friends group and you're like, well, I just don't relate to anyone anymore. You know, and it could be that um, space is, is being cleared here so that, that newer, more suitable connections will come in. And on the 17th of October, we have got a lunar eclipse. Uh, and I've got here, as the dust settles from the first two eclipses, you emerge renewed and you're ready to be more yourself. And that's more yourself both at work um, or in the world, okay, we could read it in that way. In the world, we've got your moon there in, in the sixth house. The world energies can be really, you know, 10, 2, and 6. Um, so you're more ready to be more you, uh, and also in your private life as well. You know, we've got that sun there in the 12th, um, and, and who you are in your private life, you know, in, in that domain you know, you're also going to be renewed and refreshed in some way. Scorpio, thank you so much for tuning in. We are now going to welcome Sagittarius. Sagittarius, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So we have got an eclipse, a lunar eclipse on the 18th of September. And I've got here the power dynamic at home could shift through this eclipse. So power and authority might be changing at home. So that is quite an interesting thing because sometimes, you know, we've got moon uh, and sun here and we've got these eclipse points here. You know, sometimes it's, especially if you look just in a very simplistic way, mother and father of a family, you know, power can change uh, hands uh, in, in the family or who has the power or who is the more powerful, you know, and um, this could be an eclipse that brings a shift into the power dynamic at home yeah uh, now 2nd of october there is a solar eclipse happening so i've got here spaces being cleared for a big new beginning at work uh, definitely there's fresh new energy and a big big new beginning can happen at work so embrace the changes if anything is falling away at this time allow it to fall away go with the flow of life go with the flow of the universe because bigger newer things want to come in okay so we want to be ready for that we don't want to be focused on the the um the tower that's collapsing we want to be visualizing and thinking about the new the new shoots what are we going to grow in that space now on the 17th of october we've got a lunar eclipse happening and I've got her friends, family, and your romantic partner might be seeing you in a new light. There's new energy here, especially renewed energy when we're looking at your creativity. And that's what I was just talking about with like, we could focus on, you know, the, the building that's crumbling, or we could be thinking about really the new thing that's coming. And it's like if you get any renovation work done at home. You know, recently I had my hot water system changed and uh, yeah, if I only focused on the mess and the destruction, um, but I didn't, if I didn't think about, well, I'm going to have a new hot water system and I'm going to be warm in winter and, you know, I have, I've had to keep my focus on the good, definitely, and I have done that, but yeah, it's pretty interesting. We've got to keep our focus on the new thing, on the benefits of the new thing. So for you, this is also with the 17th October lunar eclipse, this is to do with your creativity in life. You know, when you look at these two eclipses, say for example, you're at the 17th of October, you can look back at those two eclipses and see how the dust is settling from those and see how 
I've got here, keep moving forward in your creative creativity, especially. How are you going to be more creative now? How are you going to, and yeah, be able to be more you. It is that full moon with a miracle degree moon there in, in Aries. I mean, this is you being more you than you've ever been. So there's something about you being more free to be more you. Sagittarius, I want to thank you so much for tuning in. We are now going to welcome Capricorn. Capricorn, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. So on the 18th of September, we have got a lunar eclipse. And for you, this is going to be quite powerful and quite good, really, because your courage is being recalibrated at this time. And I've got here, any letting go work you do at this time will be successful. It's time to let go of old, outdated thinking. Okay, so what thought patterns have not served you and what do you want to replace them with? You have quite literally got a time here where you can program in new beliefs, new mindsets, new ways of thinking. Okay, it's, it's actually quite exciting. So your spiritual work can really, you know, take hold and take effect uh, at this time. Now on the 2nd of October, we've got a solar eclipse. I've got here spaces being cleared so you can learn new things and take on more responsibility in life. And there's something about your authority and ability to take charge of your own life are going to go up at this time. Okay, so you could get a real boost in your authority, your responsibility, your seniority, your, you know, um, there's something, there is something about you going up uh, at this time. And even if that is, you know, not recognized by other people. I know now we've got, it's coming in the next eclipse, you'll see, but like even if it's not recognized in other people, let the shifts happen internally within yourself. That's, that's where the power is. And I mean, it could be recognized as soon as the 17th of October, there's a lunar eclipse. And I've got here family members and work colleagues might see you in a new light at this time. So you might even get some instant recognition of the, you know, the good spiritual work that you are doing. I've got here, keep moving towards success and towards your goals. Okay, so that is going to be really important. You are building a new you all the time. And regardless of whether you're recognized or seen by the outside world, it doesn't matter because you, you know inside who and what you are and what you're doing. Capricorn, I want to thank you so much for tuning in. We are now going to welcome Aquarius. Aquarius, welcome. So we have got on the 18th of September a lunar eclipse. And I've got here, your finances are being recalibrated at this time. And I've got here, allow any endings to happen here because a new wealth consciousness is being established within. Okay, so if money has been difficult, don't you worry. Things are going to change. There could be some upheaval. It could be uncomfortable, but you've got a new wealth consciousness wanting to be birthed. Now, on the 2nd of October, we've got a solar eclipse. And I've got here, there could be changes in shared assets or within your family structure. Power is being renegotiated and space is being cleared for more wealth to come in. So it could even be that like a family member is experiencing wealth changes. It might not even be you. It might be a family member or something like that. Uh, you know, a mother or father or something because you've got the moon and the sun here. Uh, let's have a look. 17th October, lunar eclipse. What do we have here? I've got here, it's time for your leadership qualities to be seen more. Okay, so there could be something of you stepping up, being seen, being recognized. I've got here friends, peers, and people above you might all have good reasons to see you in a brand new light. There is some renewal here in your sense of self. We've got a full moon, and that's a miracle degree moon there uh, in Aries. So it's, it's really powerful, really, really powerful time, Aquarius. And we are now going to welcome Pisces. Pisces, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. I was just checking the time. What do we have going on? All right, we have got eclipses. So we've got an eclipse on the 18th of September. It is a lunar eclipse. I've got here old versions of you are being eclipsed out at this time. What have you outgrown? Who do you wish to become? Visualize that strongly at this time and you are going to bring that into being quite exciting. 
Now on the 2nd of October we have a solar eclipse. So space is being cleared for new beginnings regarding your work and your heart, your heart space. This could be to do with your relationship with your committed partner. And, but it's quite interesting, these new beginnings could be in relation to things you've mastered before, but you're going to refine them even more and you're going to discover new beginnings and new levels uh, even, even in that area. So that's, that's pretty incredible. And 17th October, we have got a lunar eclipse. I've got here, family members and childhood connections will be seeing you in a new light at this time. Go forward renewed knowing that all course corrections are happening for your highest good. And that is very much something that I keep in mind thanks to Louise Hay. I've been covering her book, You Can Heal Your Life, uh, in my book club on Patreon. <laughs> and um, Louise Hay always says this thing about, you know, everything is happening for my highest good. It's just a mantra that she keeps repeating. Everything is happening for my highest good. And she's always trying to act, perform actions for the highest good of herself and the highest good of everyone. So she's got that all is one consciousness going, you know, and um, yeah, I just think that that phrase, your highest good is so, so important. But th this is something, I mean, when we look at your eclipses, Pisces, I mean, it's, it's really pretty stunning for you this time. It's all around you uh, and your sense of self. So you and Virgo are getting the most intense sort of, of course you are, because it's, you know, and that's what I did say in the introduction. Um, the, the action is, is happening on your line. So yeah, you and Virgo are basically getting the opportunity to have a complete renewal of self. It's quite incredible. Well, I want to thank you for tuning in. I want to thank anyone who's watched the whole video. Thank you so much, everyone. And I look forward to seeing you next time.